Lumabooth, the best, most affordable iPad photo booth software just got better. You can now make and rearrange your own buttons for the capture modes. So you see these four buttons, you can now go in, create your own, rearrange them. And uh, this is a huge, huge update. So I'm gonna show you guys how to create your own custom experience buttons, the capture modes, on Canva and talk about this upgrade. So let's go ahead and hop on the laptop, go ahead and show you guys how to create your own buttons and how to import them right now. All right, we have Canva open. We're gonna create a custom button for the welcome screen. Go to custom size. And again, you can find these dimensions. So whatever dimensions are gonna be for you, you go to your welcome screen, click on the button and it should tell you the size. And I'll go ahead and screenshot it and show you where you'll find it once you press it. So for us, 127 by 127 pixel size, right? Where it says units, PX, not inches. It'll be a completely different, it needs to be in pixels. So you hit create design and then you have your blank canvas. You can make it a circle, you can make it a square. Um, let's go ahead and make it a square. I think it's super cool now that you can like do this. So let's just say you want your button to actually have a camera, right? For the photo option. Let's just say you want you want it to show photo. Like a, uh, like, so we're gonna go change the color. Let's just assume this is for the Los Angeles Chargers. We did an event with them recently, so I already have a welcome screen. So we're gonna go to here. You can always find the exact color or color code, but let's just, this is pretty spot on, that's pretty close. So you can go to elements on Canva, type in camera, and you can use any of the artwork here as the button, right? The one Luma Booth has out of the box, right? For the photo button, it actually looks like the Instagram logo, which I'm not like a huge fan of to be honest with you. But you can scroll through all of this artwork until you find like a camera button that you like. Um, you can go like this. And let's just go here, let's just go simple. So let's just say, uh, again too, look, you can customize this even more. You can have words in here. You can literally just have the word photo, picture or whatever. But let's just make it simple, right? We're gonna go to share. We're gonna click on download. We're gonna to go to, uh, where is it? You can save it as a PNG, that's what it's that suggestion. I would always recommend PNG. Then you go to save, oops, download. Perfect, so we're saving this one here. All right, and we have it right here. Let me close this out. Let's open up Canva again. And um, I wanna show you guys how to make a different one and I'm, we're gonna actually go and import it. I wanna show you guys what a transparent one would look like or if you wanna make a round one, let's just say you like the round. Um, we're gonna go here, let's delete this. Okay, so I like to, I think this is an easy way to do it. You can just type in, let's just say red or a certain color, yeah, red circle. This is a real easy way to do this. Boom, you just go here, right? I highly recommend you basically utilize the full space here, but you don't want to cut off any of the edges. All right. Perfect. So we're going to also now again find the camera button. This is for those that want the, you know, the circle here. So we're going to type in camera at the elements. And again, I think it's worth it to have Canva Pro so you have access to this digital asset here or this one. So let's go with this one. Let's just say you're rocking a DSLR booth on Luma booth, or you just like the way that this looks, you can do that. So then from here, you go to share, you go to download, then you go to transparent background. Very important to make sure this is selected. So we're gonna hit download and it's gonna save. All right, then from here, we're gonna exit it out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these files, I'm gonna open up Luma Booth and show you guys how to import it and select it and use this. So give me one second, let's switch over to the iPad. We are now recording on Luma Booth. You wanna hit the drop down menu and all of these changes are now under the welcome screen. So yeah, um, let's just say this is for the LA Chargers. You would have your welcome screen fit it with the template, but this is just for purposes to show you how to do this. So first thing I wanna show you guys that's different now, you can now press on the experience. You can now move it 
and put it wherever you want. Because most importantly, like the order, you know, with Luma Booth, it's always been photo, GIF, boomerang, then video. You can now switch it to which ones are prevented, or not prevented, but shown first. What I also love too is there's a function to where, let's just say you want the experiences to be down here. You just drag one, then you hit that arrange button and then they snap in place. So we can go here. I freaking love that. And um, again, you see, uh, we're gonna hit, the, we're gonna change the photo button. You go to choose and you have to make sure you have these saved under uh, either on the cloud or you, you, you uh, save them on the uh, device you're using, whether it's iPad or iPhone, then you save it as files. So we're gonna go ahead and click the square one right here. And now check that out. We have our own custom button. So um, if you wanna see the difference between the square and the circle, uh, that's why I created this other one with the camera. You would just select on that. I think the circle looks a lot cleaner. Um, and again, you can change everything here on the welcome screen. So what else is new besides this is also the start screen. There, This used to be, uh, if you press on it, I'll click in here. You can now upload from the welcome screen, which is something I, I, I'm so glad they changed. You can add a video file to be shown um, before the welcome screen that they'd have to press. And that can be anything from uh, how to use the booth video or just video clips of the bride or the groom or anything, right? So you just go to choose, you'd select the file and then it would play before it started. Um, this looks so much more simpler too. All of this stuff down here, um, you know, like the um, just the layout of everything. It's super, super, super clean. And just to show you guys the difference, right? I have Luma Booth open without the update. This is the welcome screen. So you can kind of see the flow of it is a little bit different. Obviously this is on my MacBook, but I want to show you guys, look, you can't move the buttons around. I'm pressing on it. I'm trying to move it. You are literally stuck with these designs. And um, I, I don't know, I think it's a huge deal. And I love just the flow of everything. So just a comparison, old to new. So if you guys have the old version of Luma Booth without the update, you just go to the app store, type in Luma Booth. You should be able to see Luma Booth here. And then if it says update, that means you need to press the update button to be able to get these features. So while this is loading, I just want to talk about this, guys. Just be careful. I always think it's a good idea to wait a while, uh, at least a few weeks to download something. Uh, to update it because there could be bugs, right? They just did this. I'm sure there's gonna be some things that need to be patched. So if you have some events going on and if this whole upgraded experience isn't worth it, then I'd say hold off. But if this is something that you wanna use right away, go ahead and make that update. So again, you can go and make custom buttons for every single experience. And again, don't forget, you can hit the drop down menu, maybe only offer two things, maybe GIF and Boomerang. Then you just deselect it, you go to launch, and then you'll only see these two. So you see how it's in a weird place? We can now go back into the welcome screen. We can change it, right? We can even do like this if we want. And then you could put words up here that says, you know, you can put a text here that says maybe, I don't know, you know, get a print or whatever, right? That's an option. And one thing I did skip here, let's go back here. Let's just do uh, arrange. You can also change the, the text. So where it says photo, Let's just put print. Let's just say you want to just say, hey, so people know that if they want to print, this is where they do it. You put that and then boom, changes it. So let's go ahead and let launch event. And there you go. I hope this was informative. Thank you guys so much for watching. And just a reminder, if you're new to Luma Booth, Luma Booth gave us a sign up and discount code. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's in the description. And if you're watching this on TikTok, it's in our TikTok bio. You can get a discount using our sign up link. And also, if you want to order your photo booth, go to photobooth101.com. We have the equipment, we have the printer, the booth, the props, backdrops, 360 booth. We have it all. That's photobooth101.com. Thank you. God bless. See you soon.